G'day folks, well in this video I'm going to show you how to reduce Crazy Venus 3x3 cube. Now, as with all of these, the links are in the description if you want to buy those cubes. They're awesome cubes, a must have for any collection really. And with Venus what we've got is it's the step up from Mercury. It's one of two step ups from Mercury really. So we're reducing it to a circle cube. So Mercury just had the white face that was a one face where the circle parts span with the face and all the other faces were like this. Well on Venus we've still got the white face like that. We've also got the yellow face like that. So we've got these two opposite faces where the circle parts spin and all the faces in the middle have circle parts like that. So that's the setup for Venus. Now Venus in some ways is easier and in some ways is harder. So let's get going on it. The first thing we're going to do once again is get some yellow circle pieces in. And we don't have to take them down to the bottom because of the yellow face. We can just spin it up like that. So that's yellow circle pieces done. Having done that we're going to again solve, use the white face here to solve these middle pieces. And it's so simple it's not funny. So for example we just find one on the bottom. We've got a, a green here so we'll turn a green slot down, turn that piece on and put it up. And you can see it's matched there. That's it. Got a couple of uh, reds here, we've got a blue, so let's place a red like that. Always just a three move sequence. Got another red here, I just lied. Three move sequence, this one's going to be four probably. Place it out of the way, down, and then back. There you go, maximum of four moves. Blue, got a blue here, so put that one in. What have we got next? Uh, we've got an orange here that can go into that slot. Uh, we've got the green that can go in there. Now at the moment we've got whites on the bottom, we've still got a blue and an orange in here. Well that's no drama, we just take that orange out, turn it around, and then it's ready to put in this one. And that of course will bring the blue out of position, and then we can turn back, last one, put the blue in and we're done with the middle ones and you'll notice that all of the top and bottom ones happen to be done here as well. Well that's because these top and bottom circle pieces cannot leave their orbits so no matter what I do I can turn that, they're not going to move. So the maximum you'll have to do to solve the top and bottom is two turns of each. You may of course find like I just did that they're already solved but that's the circle edges and they're never any harder than that. Now the next part of the solve is to place the outer edges here. Now, we, on Mercury, uh, we really only had one face that we had to worry about that was a one face, so we want to place these now without turning the one faces. The method that I've settled on is this, is I'm going to solve these four middle layer outer edges first. So I'm just going to find one that's on a top face, green, red, turn it around to its position so that it's above where it needs to go and put it down with a down, down, up, up routine. And you'll see that it's in, and of course I can always just turn that back so that the circle pieces match up. Let's find another one. Here's a blue orange around here. It's already above its position. Down, down, up, up, and we're done. Now there's no more on the yellow face. I'll turn it upside down and see if there's some on this face. There's an orange green. So I'll just turn that around so that the orange can come down to here. And that'll leave us one more to go, which is the blue-red here. Once again, position it. Put it in, and just return the setups. And we'll look around and see that all of this middle layer is now done. Okay, the next step is to look and see if any of our yellow and white outer edges need flipping. And we can see, we can tell because they're all on the, the yellow and white faces, they're not in the middle layer. It's very, very simple to see. If the yellow or white piece is on the top, that does not need flipping. Here, the yellow piece is on the side. So all of these three need flipping. And if I turn it over, on this face I've got that one that does not, and all of these do. The way to flip them is quite simple. We simply need to hold them at these two positions, up front and front right, and carry out a soon. But with the added bonus that we're going to turn this middle slice on our first and last turns of the soon. So instead of just turning that, I'm going to turn that and then carry out as normal.
So here's the last turn, I'll bring it back with me. And what it's done is actually flipped the two that were here, it's flipped to there. So they're those two. So that leaves one on there. Let's go and flip a couple on the other face. So that one's already done. Let's flip these two, same thing. There we go. And that will leave that one and that one to be flipped. And because we don't care about where they are, we just care about flipping them, all I need to do is turn that face up so that the ones that need flipping are in these positions. And you'll notice that a little white circle edge is there. That's honestly no big deal and it'll go back when we've finished. So we just want to flip these two. Bring it back down. You'll see that's flipped, that's flipped, that's flipped. Let's turn that back down. And you'll see that if we look on the yellow face and on the white face, that we all have now correctly uh, oriented edges. That's exactly what we're aiming for. And it's now fairly straightforward to place them. You'll also notice all of these middle edges are still exactly where they should be. So in order to place them, I'm going to do really a combination of just edge piece series and a soon when I need it. So I might start here and say that this yellow blue can go around to there. So I'm just going to do a left hand soon to place it there. You can see that's now in position. Let's go over to another face here. Now, in fact, probably what I'd do is get, because this is the yellow face and I've got three white edges up here, I'd like another yellow edge if I could. So I'm going to just turn this face as a setup and then move this to here, this to here, and put the white back there. Now, in order to carry out an edge piece series with those three edges, I need circle faces. So that's a circle face. This one is not. But it's very simple. I just need to move a slice like that to put a circle face on the white face. And now that will become a circle face. So I can carry out the edge piece series like that. That's done. And now put back my centers. And what I'll see is when I undo this setup move, that Firstly, all of the middle edges are still where they are because none of them were touched. Secondly, all of the yellow and white outer edges are correctly oriented. And thirdly, it's placed a yellow edge where I need it to be. So what should I do now? Go and probably put that one in. So the yellow blue is already in. So let's carry out a soon that will move the yellow orange to there. So we've got two of them placed now. What else could we do? Let's get another uh, edge piece series to move this to here, this to here, and this yellow one over to here. And because that's the yellow green, that will actually place correctly in that position when we're done. So once again, we just have to make sure that we're using circle faces. The green is a circle face, but the white is not. So we'll just turn that red up, and you can see that it doesn't affect the pieces we're interested in. All done. Put that middle slice back, and as I said, the yellow green has now placed. So we've got three of these things placed. Let's go have a look on the white face. I've already got the white green. What I'm going to do now is uh, think about where this one is. So this one is here, so I really would like this line of pieces to not be placed because that will enable me to carry out my final three cycle. In other words, since that one's there, I'd like to place the white blue. Can I do that fairly easily? Yes, I can. Just carry out a soon to move it around there. Here we go. And you'll notice now that we have one, two, three pieces remaining. Our last edge three cycle. And so I just need to see which direction they move. The white red goes to here. The yellow red to here. And that white orange will come back to there. So you know the drill by now. That's a circle face. This one is not. So I simply turn make it into a circle face, carry out my final edge piece series, undo my setups, and I can see quite clearly that all of the outer edges now are placed. Now, a couple of things to say about that. The first thing is that the reason that I'm placing them is for convenience when I come to reduce them, which is about to happen. The second thing is it is possible to get a swap of outer edges and we'll need a technique to deal with that. Let's have a look at that now. 
Well, here we are with that situation. We've got the yellow, red, and the yellow, orange outer edge that need to swap. All of the other edges are placed. Now, your outer edges that need to swap could end up being anywhere. They could be next to each other. They could be on different faces. doesn't matter. If you've got two to swap, you've got a problem. Now, the way that I do it is to simply uh, do one turn of uh, one of these circle faces, such as that. That's actually fixed the problem. And what we need to do now is put back our circle edges. Now the beauty of this cube is that we have two faces which can turn circle edges. You'll see that white face will take the circle edges with it. This green face won't. So we want to carry out an edge piece series on the white face. So we're going to turn the white to the green, the green to something else. Now because the other pieces are up here, I'm actually going to move this piece onto that position before I start. You might say, why don't I move this piece there? Well, because it's on a face where it can't turn. So I'm going to set up by turning that blue piece onto the white face and now carry out an edge piece series. And I'll undo those setups and we'll have a look at exactly what's happened. Firstly, we'll look at the blue here and the white here are back in position. And then we'll see that the yellow and the green now need to sort of swap. They don't of course need to swap, but we can now easily cycle this yellow to that green to that yellow. Move those pieces around and it's on the yellow face, so it's very simple to do. Standard edge piece series and you can see that all of the circle edges are now back. Now at this point we now start resolving our outer edges. We notice that the uh, ones in the middle are already done. We'll look up at the white face, we'll look up at the yellow face. If you're really lucky, that's what you get. They're all done. If you're not quite so lucky, you'll just end up with probably a three cycle of outer edges and you solve them in the same way as we've been doing. So that completes the uh, placement of these outer edges. Now, as I said previously, the placing of them is not actually part of the reduction. The main part of this solve is reducing the outer edges. And when we're looking at a circle cube, the reason we're reducing the outer edges is because you'll notice that with that outer edge, it has that circle corner and that circle corner attached to it. Wherever that edge goes, that circle corner goes. So if I then turn it down here, the circle corner travels with it. If I turn another piece which does not involve that edge on a circle face, I should point out. So in fact, let's, um, let's do an example where that's much clearer to see. Uh, if I turn this here, you'll notice that that orange edge does not stay with it. However, if I turn this one, the orange edge does. So these circle corners are attached to outer edges. Our problem is that we have very few correct circle corners attached. So the reason that I place them first is to very clearly see which circle corners belong with which outer edge. Example, this white blue is perfectly in position and so it's clear that that orange circle corner is correctly attached. It's also clear that that orange circle corner is not. That's got to be red. So to place the circle corners, we're going to do it in pretty much the same way that we did for Mercury. So we're going to start by placing these ones across the top. We look for a corresponding color on the bottom. Uh, so we've got, for example, a, a green here. We're going to turn this circle corner onto the white face and we're going to put it down there using an edge piece series. And what that does is just deal with that corner. It leaves the others intact. That's supposed to be green. So we now turn that green circle corner around and then undo. So we turn the left face down first. So to undo, we'll turn the right face down first. Having done that, return that white face and you'll notice that there's now a green circle corner in that position and all of the outer edges are where they should be. So this is part of reducing these outer edges. We're going to go again and I won't do all of these but I'll give you a good enough idea of what's going on. So here we would see a green circle corner which should be an orange. There's an orange there. So I'll turn that down to the bottom with the edge piece series. Now turn that orange onto the position and then undo. Orange is in place, turn it back and we're done. 
and we're going to continue doing that and once we've done as many as we can here we're going to turn the puzzle over and do some using the yellow face and that's why this is a little bit easier than mercury because we've got these two faces which are ready to go let me cut through to some of them well I come back in and I've got the two greens, the two reds, the two blues done. I've got one of these oranges done. I need the other orange. When I look down here, there is no orange on that face. What do we do? We've got to locate where another orange is. And there's a couple on this face here. So what I could do is because I want those that orange piece to be on the white face, is simply turn it to put that orange circle corner onto the white face. Now it happens that the pieces that are involved, the circle corner pieces that are involved, is that one, that one, and that one. So it's not going to affect this stuff at all. So we'll undo that setup at the end. So just to recap, that was over on the red face. We've simply turned that down so that it's on the white face. Now we can go about our business and placing that circle corner down onto the bottom. Then we turn the orange onto it and we undo. And we turn that back and then finally we undo the setup move that we have and you remember I said it wouldn't affect any of this other stuff and it hasn't and that you can see completes all of that top section of circle corners now what we do is turn it over and do the top section with the other face so I proceed the same way and I've got a green here I'm going to put it in there and we do it just like the white face and cutting back in here, we've got the last of these red ones to do. And again, the red's not on the bottom. It's actually on the top this time. Now, it doesn't really matter where it is on the top. The issue is we've got to get it down to the bottom. And so, um, in this case, I could turn it like that and put it down there. The problem that I have is it's directly underneath. Now, it's not insurmountable, but it's not the easiest setup. So what I'm going to do is turn it the other way, like that, which will still place that red circle corner on the bottom and now I'm ready to go turn it on undo um, undo my setups that I had which was that and that and we can see that in the central part all of the circle corners there are done in other words all of the circle corners have been attached to their correct outer edges and so that means this white green edge here now has the red circle corner and the orange circle corner which are correctly attached and that's exactly what I wanted. So all of the outer edges are now reduced apart from the yellow and the white. Now thankfully these are fairly straightforward as well. So what we want to do, you'll notice that the piece that we were trying to do was in this top layer. So we're going to turn a piece that needs filling down to that position. Now you may remember I said before that it involves the piece that's here, here, and wherever else our new piece is. So in this case, what we've got is we want the yellow uh, going to another yellow and then being replaced by this white. So I'm going to set up by turning that around to there. Now, this is going to be a little bit convoluted, and I guess this does happen sometimes with the yellow and white. So if we think about what's happened, I don't need to remember that setup move. I do need to put the yellow piece down there and then I'm going to move the yellow piece to the position that is here. Now I don't want to displace this orange so my other setup move is a double turn of the bottom face and so now the three pieces that are involved are this yellow, this yellow and that white and so that will come to here which is good, that will come to here which is good and that white will come back to there which is where it should be. So all I need to do is remember those setups, which were down two and a left in the other order. I can now do my replacement. So putting that down onto the bottom, turning that white circle corner on, and then undoing. And now turning my face back to complete the move. Now my setups were a down two, and then a left turn, and you remember I said I didn't have to remember that initial one because it would be very, very obvious. And it is. And you can see that nothing's been affected inside there. And we're down to really the last couple of pieces to deal with. Now, in this case, I would probably go ahead and put this yellow here because it's just a little bit of an easier setup. You can see that I want the yellow to come to a yellow 
and then to have the white as the third piece. So my other setup turn is that down face turn and now I've got my three pieces in position ready to go. So let's put that there. I'll turn the white onto it and undo. And turn it back. What were my setups? I've got absolutely no idea. I think it was that. There it was. It must have been that because everything's looking good. And now we can see that all of our circle corners are correctly placed. Everything's attached. That completes the, the longest stage of the solve and leaves us to do just the outer corners. And to do the outer corners, I'm going to use a corner piece series. And I'm just looking for any um, corner that can roll into its position. So this one here can roll. The only thing is I don't want to be turning the white or the yellow face because I, I want to treat it as a circle cube now which just means if I need to do this sort of movement for my corner piece series I'm going to get the white and the yellow face to front and back and I can accomplish that with a simple turn through the middle there. Now I'm ready to go and this is just the standard corner piece series and you'll find description uh, a link to a video in the description of every video I have and that's if I complete that move that's done and I can now put back that middle slice and you can see the white orange green has been placed next time I do that I'll pay more attention and make sure that I explain exactly what I'm doing so here we've got almost identical situation the white red green that needs to roll down to here so my piece movement is going to be like that this time my white face is already on the front so there's no setups so this is a piece movement like that so my first turn of the upper face is anti-clockwise left prime up right and it's just symmetrical so now it's anti-clockwise left clockwise right prime and you can see the only thing that's changed is that corner has been placed of course these have been moved as well what's the next one uh, we've got the white blue red here which can roll to here and Let's have a think. I need to put another corner up the top there. I'll just put any old corner there to make that happen. And once again, the white face needs to be not on the top. So I'll turn that one further. And it's very clear now that I can um, do something to get them all back. And so that'll be three of the white corners. The fourth one is in position, but it's twisted, so I could leave that there and twist it later, or use it if I need to. Uh, so now looking at the yellows, what have we got? As an example, I could place the yellow, red, green by moving it across the diagonal there. The first turn of the upper face will be an anti-clockwise turn. Got to get that out of the way first, so we put it there, and away we go. And we can bring that back together. And that yellow, red, green has been placed. That will leave us now a yellow, blue, orange, which we can see can roll across the back this time with the piece movement like that. So this time we have an upper face, uh, upper face clockwise, first of all. And that's been placed. That should leave us probably just with three. What have we got? Yellow, blue, red to here, blue, white, orange to here, and yellow, green, orange to here. So this is probably the hardest setup to deal with. And to do so, what I normally do with this is actually just um, put them on the same face so that I can get them into their positions. So I've just got to think what's got to go where. The yellow, blue, red has got to end up here. So I'm going to turn that up as a setup first and probably turn this one around two turns. Now the pieces are set up but I've got a yellow here and so I do another setup like that. This may seem like you've lost control of the cube but just trust me it gets very very simple after a while. I'll now carry out that corner piece series that's done. We'll undo that setup undo those two turns and the other one was that one and now what we can see is that that which one was it that one's twisted I think it was that one that has actually placed itself and that one's twisted as well 
So in this case, to finish off, what I might do is twist the corners uh, using a soon and its mirror. So I'd say this one's got to go anti-clockwise. Let's put this one at the back, and we're now ready to go. There's the soon. Now we carry out the mirror. That's all done. Undo that setup and look around and see that our crazy Venus 3x3x3 is solved.